Okay, thank you so much for being with me here this afternoon. Uh, my name is Carl Schilling. I'm the founder and CEO of the Advocacy Network. Now, today, we're going to take you through a couple of things, okay? First of all, uh, we're going to make a presentation to let you test drive some of what the value of our training coaching could be. And also, we're going to show you the tools that are part of our platform. We're going to show you a little bit about the virtual office, so stay tuned for that. Stay with me. Uh, all the way through, and you will see some uh, more of the virtual office, as well as uh, we use this video platform. So uh, for those of you who may be watching this in a video format on a recorded version, you will see that this is a totally interactive video. So over here on my right, there's a little white paper right down here by our uh, I am, I can, I will, I do, you know, the beaver, most diligent worker in the animal kingdom. But right down here, you'll see a white paper explains everything about Financial Concierge University. Up here, you'll see a little bit of an email button. You can email me and uh, drop me any information you want. Over here, you'll get my LinkedIn uh, link. So you can check me out on LinkedIn, see all about me, and then you can also connect with me. And further over here, you'll see a soft phone come up. That soft phone, if you dial your number into that phone, your area code and your number, you don't need one plus, just area code and number, your phone will ring. When it rings, it'll be connecting to me. So before we get started, let me give you a quick overview of why we do what we do and how we do it and why the uh, Advocacy Network. Uh, I started the Advocacy Network almost a decade ago. Uh, it was uh, created to eliminate all forms of financial victimization and allow us to have a different platform with which to reach out to the public. Uh, we do that by creating awareness, providing financial literacy education, and uh, also helping people become financially independent. That's where you come in. Uh, as a financial concierge, your role is to help people become financially independent. And we give you all the tools in order to do it. Now, to date, to show you the success of why our third party endorsement is so powerful, we have saved the public over $10 million, closing in on 11. So over 12,000 people that we've helped who would have been victimized in some form of a financial loss. Could have been a scam, a fraud, or could have just been predatory sales tactics. So we eliminate all that. So that's part of our opening to be able to speak to people. As an advocate, your best interest is my only concern, okay? And as a financial concierge, I just help people attain financial independence. So few do. So we really want to help uh, people understand how to climb that mountain. So as I said, what I'm going to do now is share with you something from Transparency Selling which is one of our uh, main courses, but it's uh, all about uh, sales behavior and some unique uh, aspects. So hopefully you learn something from this as well, and then you see the value. Then we'll, we'll share with you exactly what our platform looks like, okay? So we're going to share the screen real quick and uh, right over here. Here we go. Okay. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, it's called Transparency Selling, and Transparency Selling is – one of the main courses. We also have the Retireless Selling System. Uh, we do a referral of a lifetime training and lead the field and some others, okay? So uh, basically in transparency selling, it's all about giving people what they want. Too often we are in the sales world where we're in the past, you know, what worked in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s even, um, <clears throat> stopped in the 90s and moving here into the 2000s, okay? That was a period of uh, heavy persuasion. And we'll see about that. So things have changed. Uh, people are a little more aware. They're not uh, fully aware because there's a lot of bad information they get. However, for the most part, people have the internet. They have uh, all kinds of uh, information at their fingertips and they can get it like the snap of a finger. So it's not like it was uh, in those other uh, decades and those periods because people didn't really have that fast access to information. So the markets shift and they change. But we also know there's a lot of bad information out there, okay? Some intentionally bad. But let's look at the old school cycle because every sales professional, like yourself, needs a sales process, a cycle they go through. But there's no one sales cycle or process for every sales professional. So it's really unique to, to, to each uh, um, communication skills, the way people communicate, the way they share information. There are some basics always there, but again, it has to be fit the individual, okay? So the old school was what we called AIDA. That was the marketing side. So that was, you know, attention, interest, desire, and then creating action. 
And then that was all buttressed or, or founded in uh, ABC, the concept of always be closing. And again, that was strictly a, um, <clears throat> a method of persuasion. And while many, many sales organizations still do this, they still have this method of persuasion, you know, even as Confucius said, a man persuaded against his will is of the same opinion still. So changing minds and persuading people is like twisting arms, arguing, debating, and fighting with people realistically, okay? So the new system, new school of this is, again, we're always prospecting, so that's not going to change, but we have tools and platforms to help you with prospecting, and that's really the lifeblood and the real uh, concern of this entire industry. <clears throat> this whole career is based upon your ability to prospect, but that being said, you need a unique approach. So we do. We have a very unique approach. Again, as an advocate, my, uh, uh, you know, your best interest is my only concern. Now, that's a lot different than any other thing I could say to someone. But that approach is unique and different. We get away from the white noise. And here comes the entire element of the whole uh, selling cycle is discovery. When you do discovery right, and we're going to talk about that coming up next, when you do discovery correctly, and you don't worry about how long it takes or what kind of time frame. When you do discovery the right way, you are, you are easily able to present the solution and you, there is no need to close. Closing has already been happening throughout the process. So discovery is the real key to the process. So what do we mean by that? Well, we want to put you in a position to become a professional order taker because you're giving people what they want. Now, a lot of sales professionals tell me, Carl, that's, that's an insulting because, you know, order takers historically, those are very bad salespeople. They just sit around and take orders. But we've got a process that turns you into a professional order taker. Now, it takes work. It takes, um, it takes skill. It takes talent. It's not something that you just snap your fingers, someone raises their hand and they buy something. Okay, so it all starts with this R2A2 formula. And basically, that means the ability to recognize and relate so that people themselves have to recognize the things they're not aware of. You're helping create the awareness, and then you're creating awareness in such a way that they can relate to it. Now, when they start to relate to it, you'll find that you can start connecting what they want to what they need. That's where people would assimilate and start to apply, okay? But in the beginning... You have to help people recognize and then relate it to them. And this was uh, first originally created by W. Clement Stone. You can find this in the um, success system that never fails. It was a really, really uh, powerful piece of work by Stone. Great book still to this day. Uh, a lot of uh, very interesting things in that book. Okay, so selling is a process. And what's going to be required in that process that, that is kind of overlooked today quite a bit is human insight. So we help with that. That's all our coaching, development, and training has to do with human insight. And then human behavior, because the aspects of human behavior are consistent. And this is really behavior driven. When people make decisions about money, it has to do with the certain behaviors that they have. Okay. At the end of the day, it's all about relationship building. Everything is about relationships. It's the same as any other relationships you have. So your sales career should not be separated from the fact that, oh, I have relationships over here, and then I put on this suit or tie, or I get dressed this way, and then suddenly I put on a whole new me and a whole new act, and I have to be somebody else while I'm in my professional life. Not true. Your professional life should blend with your, your family life, with your social life, and everything else. It should all blend together, and you should be able to be the same person throughout it all because it's all about developing relationships. Now, what we try to help uh, agents understand is in order to do this really successfully, you have to detach yourself. And this is where call reluctance and uh, resistance and fear of rejection all come in. But if you're successful in detaching yourself, whether you're meeting one person, two people, a handful of people, a group of people, or a huge auditorium of people, if you're able to detach yourself and attach yourself onto their ego, then you are in a really, really powerful position, okay? So this is why we talk about this discovery process. So what does it really mean to do discovery? Well, discovery is helping the people who you're trying to help 
become uh, self-discovering of things they're not aware of. Remember I told you that we do this by creating awareness, providing financial literacy education, and helping people become financially independent. Well, all part of that is helping a person self-discover. Now, it's a dual process, okay? The prospect is uh, got an ego, and what you need to be doing is you need to be helping the prospect's ego increase, and your ego is decreasing. So you're detaching, and it's best interest-centric. So all you're concerned about and all you should be concerned about is the best interest of the person sitting in front of you. And you have to relay and communicate that to them. They'll feel it. But that's basically because you are concerned about what they want. Where other people are coming in and trying to tell them what they need. It's a big difference. You're there trying to help them self, self-discover, self-identify, find out what they want, and then help them match this to what they need because it doesn't always match. So when it's done right in this dual process, your ego is decreasing. Your only concern is for the prospect and the client and their best interest. That's it. As an advocate, your best interest is my only concern. And as a financial concierge, I'd simply help people become financially independent. So you're gonna understand that what others want is always, always a, a, a more attractive and more in their mind than what they need. So it is always the factor. Give people what they want. Now, here's the key. We know that people have needs, and through the discovery process, you're going to find those needs. Now, we also know that people may be detached from those needs. They may not clearly be aware of the needs they have. Now you can't just, you know, bombard them with that, but you have to match it by showing them what they want and what they need actually are connected. And there's a process to do this. And the process is by finding out a lot of questions, a lot of in-depth interviewing, you will really start to touch upon what they really want. And then you will be able to recognize really what they need. And that's really your job. Okay, so today, most presentations are incorrectly built. They provide a predetermined solution to an already assumed need. We know this exists in the final expense market. We know this exists in the mortgage uh, insurance market. And in many, many other types of insurance markets, there's a predetermined need. So you walk into a house already assuming that someone has a need. You think you know what the need is. You do very little discovery and you push that need down their throat. And this is commonly referred to as creating a need. Now, if you're building relationships, you do not and cannot create needs, okay, and be successful in building relationships. Relationships are based upon the fact that you're there to help people get what they want and at the same time solve what they need. And they don't always match up, so you have to help that work. Now, we share a bit of clear transparency, so I'm going to go uh, uh, by this uh, pretty quickly. Uh, The power of third-party endorsement is really, really the biggest part of being with us. Remember, we've saved the public over $10 million. It's a powerful statement. Uh, You know, we help people avoid financial victimization. We're like the good housekeeping seal of approval against scams, fraud, predatory sales tactics. That's a pretty good positioning for you, okay? But the hierarchy of needs looks like this. The number one marketing strategy really is give people what they want. If you keep that at the forefront of your mind, you're always going to be able to start to detach yourself from the process because it has nothing to do with what you want. What you want should be to give your prospect or client what they want. That should be your want every single appointment, every single conversation, every single presentation, and even prospecting. It should be about giving people what they want. Now, what your company or service provider wants It is rarely in this same format. Too often, it isn't concerned with what your prospect or client wants. Your service provider, the companies you represent, they want what? They want you to sell, period. They want a sale. They don't care how you get there. They don't care what you do to get there. Of course, they say they do, but let's face it. Based on everything they teach, everything they train, they don't care, all right? Because they really need you to sell, and that's great, but you will sell a ton if you take it into this 
uh, compassionate, concerning level where you give people what they want. So here's the steps in the process. Pretty simple. Discovery. When I say discovery, it's the key. It's the whole thing. But discovery supports human behavior. It reinforces the natural laws of cause and effect and reaping and sowing and the human behaviors that people have about money because you start to learn what they believe about money, why they believe it, what their value system is. Those things are important. We go in and we talk to people all the time about money and we have no clue as to how they believe money really is, what they think about money, why they think about money. We don't know. We don't know and that's what discovery is about. Now, after we know all that and we help them with some awareness and we recognize their needs and we've helped them understand that they should maybe want to fill the need, okay, then we make recommendations and then we get the solution done. Now, if this is done right, this transparency process, when you do this properly, steps four and five simply require confirming what the prospect or client wants. So it's like taking an order at that point in time. You're not persuading, you're not twisting arms, you're not even answering objections, because there are none, because you've gone through this process. There'll be some object objections along the way, because people are not aware of the difference between their wants and their needs. That's really what you're helping them understand. Okay, now in our selling platform, we're getting to a point about some of our tools. So really what we want, you are my client. Your best interest is my only concern. So you are with us at Advocacy, and that's all based upon sales growth, okay? Now, human self-development has to do with you as my client, and it also has to do with all your clients for you because you're helping them with human self-development as well. Very big key to this because you become their coach. You become, um, you become their advocate, and you're helping them in this human self-development cycle because that's very important to them accruing more money, to increasing their wealth, for them becoming uh, um, financially independent. Marketing and communication development, we provide all that. We help you with all that. You don't have to spend time doing all of this. I have so many agents out there who have uh, initially, when they came in, they were doing everything. They had on 14 different hats. They were trying to uh, prospect. They were trying to get marketing for prospecting. They were trying to write uh, information. They were trying to write content. They were trying to do, uh, put out ads. Everything you can imagine, they were all had their finger in the pie. It doesn't work. And I'm sure you've learned that by now. You'll see all the tools we provide you. And we have powerful sales training and coaching development. It's just, it's, it's as good as it gets. Now, we also have... Uh, higher levels of sales coaching. We have uh, several professional coaches, sales coaches uh, in our executive board who are much higher uh, level coaching, okay? We want to give you not just the basics. We want to give you the daily accountability. We want to give you the things that are going to help you on a daily basis. But when it comes to you um, maybe expanding or tripling, you know, what you're doing or figuring out better ways, we, we kind of push you over to a real professional coach who's going to uh, ask you for a much deeper investment in yourself, okay? So we have that as well. Uh, now, let's take a look real briefly at what we talked about in our virtual office. Now, we're the only ones with this virtual office in the insurance industry, and we have uh, expanded it some, so you might find occasionally an FMO or an IMO who we've reached out to and helped build this kind of office themselves. But on the open campus side, uh, everything is there for free. Now, on the open campus side, uh, you can meet anybody, uh, grow your business in the open campus. It's unlimited talk time, unlimited file sharing, customizable avatar, uh, pre presenter tools, private chat, team building games, all kinds of things are in the open campus. There's no user limit, and it's free forever. All right, now we have that aspect of it. Now, our team room, we have a team room just like this. Uh, team rooms are private suite, and inside, it's inside the open campus. It's a separate private suite. It's like a whole floor of a building, okay? So in there, there's room to, uh, uh, in the suite for 20 people. So if you're running an agency or had an agency, um, you can either be part of our suite, which you'll see how we provide that for you, or you can have your own suite, your entire whole suite if you'd like, and we show you how to do that. Plus, we give you a discount coupon that, that saves you uh, a, a pretty good amount of money on that, okay? 
Uh, all locations are branded, got technical support. There's 12 private offices across the floor, okay? And there's reservable conference rooms and auditoriums and uh, basically a member's network. So that's the team room. We have a team room. When you come in with us, you become part of our team room. We put you in one of our team rooms. But you speak to me if you're a person who has more agents or something of that nature and you want your own team room. Glad to help you do it. Okay? So just look at this, what you can do. Onboarding and distance education, you just reserve the space you need. Any kind of virtual collaboration, you notice the conference rooms over there on your right. Sales and marketing. You want to have sales and marketing events. You want to have uh, recruiting events. Whatever it is you would like to do can be done uh, in a little bit bigger conference room. If you notice on the walls, there's all those, those, those uh, boards on the walls. Those boards are live computer areas, live video. You don't need a webinar service for this. You don't need any other service whatsoever other than some free services you may want to plug in, okay, if you want to do, uh, you know, some uh, uh, file sharing and all. So, but those are all free. So you don't need anything, uh, again, here. You can get rid of your, all your webinar-based products. You can get rid of all those things. You don't need them. Uh, as you notice down the bottom, you see a big virtual conference. You know, literally, you can have 500 people, 1,000 people you know, involved in a virtual conference, okay? So you got plenty of space all the time. Now let's just look for you, just so you get an idea. As far as uh, WebEx, I told you about this, right? Uh, user capacity, you know, we are unlimited. So you can look at, these are four of the bigger places doing these different things. Document sharing, they all seem to have that, right? Screen sharing, text chat, all of that. But they don't have 3D environment, they don't have customizable avatars, uh, they don't have community events, okay? And right now, uh, the mobile applications of this are coming. It's in the process. But uh, right now, for now, there's not a mobile application of it. There is certain things you can do mobile, but uh, the actual, some of the uh, physical going in the office and all. Now, when you connect remote with everybody in your team, everybody in your staff, for those of you who have uh, employees, you wouldn't need a brick and mortar office. You can still keep it, whatever you want to do, but this could totally replace brick and mortar or it could be an addition to brick and mortar. So it improves your communication. It forces through shared culture. Um, it creates the communities of learners, which is really what you want. Uh, that even helps for prospecting. Innovation is off the charts, okay? Uh, and it reduces all kinds of expenses, brick and mortar, travel, and, and everything like that, okay? And certainly when you're working remotely, sometimes you can get a little lonely, but here you're never lonely. You're in a virtual environment. Everybody's there with you. Okay. So I wanted you to get a feel for our virtual office. And that was quickly a quick overview. We, we do tours and everything. You can see it live, but um, it's, it's totally unique. It's uh, exclusive. It's unique. And there's nothing like it in the insurance industry anywhere, regardless of what anybody tells you. Okay. And it doesn't need any additional tools. It's all self-sustaining. So what's in it for you? That's your game. Well, you get immediately, you get financial transformation. That's a $397 uh, value. Financial transformation is a financial literacy education course combined with the uh, human development, which is totally unique in the marketplace. And it's, it's totally digital. So you basically get paid to prospect. If you want to use that as the door opener, we're reinforcing the financial concierge concept. We're reinforcing you every step of the way, and we're helping build the awareness that you could just attach onto. All of that awareness is built through the course. You don't even have to do anything but kind of reinforce the awareness that people gain from the course because it's going to help them in all their decisions about money. Financial concierge university. Normally, we would charge $497 each and every year, okay? So that's an annual event. The virtual office I just showed you, uh, if you were to just have one simple uh, virtual office, not the, uh, not the full suite, but just one place for yourself, it would run you about, it would run you $365. That's a $365 value every year. The video marketing platform I'm showing you here as we're doing the video, you'll see it in its full uh, it's full uh, consistency uh, if you're watching this thing from a video perspective. Uh, that would be $250 annually. Okay, we do mastermind groups as part of everything. We would charge, you know, individually, we would charge $300 a quarter. 
for those mastermind groups to facilitate and bring those all together. That would be about $1,200 a year. Uh, and a content library, I told you about, so, you know, we got people, they're writing their content, they're doing all kinds of stuff. And half the time, let me tell you, uh, most of you, and there's no knock on anybody, everybody thinks they're a writer, okay? Uh, unfortunately, not everybody is. And uh, many, many people who think they can write really have some, uh, some difficulty with it, okay? So uh, besides the time it takes and everything, we do ghostwriting, we do copywriting, we do all kinds of things for you. It's all in the content library, white papers, uh, reports, uh, uh, you know, uh, content that you can use on blogs, uh, everything. If you can copy and paste, uh, the content library is great for you, right? So the total value here on a one-year individual basis would be over $3,000. And then each and every year, this total would be about $2,400 a year if you were using all these pieces. Now remember, you can use as little of this or as much of it as you'd like to use. No problem. We're more than willing to help and work with you. So it's like you don't have to take it all. You take some and use some. Some things work better. But, uh, but you, you know, certainly the tools like the virtual office and the video, those are just staple kind of tools. You'd want to use them, right? So you get uh, Financial Concierge University, the content and all the sales support. I didn't even mention that I've, done, I've gone on appointments with agents, uh, not physically, because you don't have to do them physically anymore. We've got the virtual office or even Zoom. For those people who are not comfortable totally in the virtual office with little avatars and not ready for it yet, we do Zoom. And we've done Zoom meetings and uh, closed cases, increased uh, the sales, uh, the case around it, the agent, things the agent wasn't familiar with, didn't see there. You know, we've helped expand those cases. So there's plenty of sales support, right? Financial transformation is a course that provides all of this financial literacy, literacy education and human development behavior, all these things, it provides all that awareness and you basically get paid to just promote that, that uh, video course, okay? And that video course can be promoted via the internet, via the web, social media, however you wanna do it. You could be prospecting literally 24 seven all the time, right? And get paid to do it. And it presents you as a financial concierge. And then, of course, we have the exclusive tools. We mentioned the virtual office, the video marketing, things of that nature. So what's in it for us? How do we uh, become a profitable organization? What do we get? Well, for everything I just told you, we ask for a one-time $350 tuition. And for those uh, agents who, who reject or don't want to pay tuition because they don't want to use all of it or feel like, hey, Carl, I don't need your sales training. Hey, Carl, I don't need none of that information. I don't want any of that. I just want a video office. I just want this. I want that. Fine. Uh, we waive tuition, and we have another way for you to be able to qualify so you don't have to pay us anything. Now, along with the $350 tuition for the whole, uh, for the whole platform, we ask that, that agents do $10,000 in annual premium minimum with us, one of our two carriers. I'd be glad to tell you who those two carriers are, both A. One of them, I think, is A plus now, but both A, a carriers. Uh, one, is, uh, one has an incredible portfolio of everything we want, uh, IUL, whole life, term. The other one has term and whole life mainly. The other one's more of a dividend-paying company. They both are a dividend company, but one uh, company has the IUL, ULs, and all of that, and the other company is strictly whole life, okay? Um, anyway, 10000 annual premium minimum. That's it. That's all we ask for. Now, the rest you can, we don't ask you to leave your FMOs. We don't ask you to leave your contract areas that you're happy with. We don't ask you to do any of that. We're just trying to help you grow your business, okay? By positioning you in a better uh, place, by getting you away from the white noise, helping you establish your practice. We ask you that you'd kindly give us 10000 in annual premium for that, okay? If you don't pay the tuition because you don't want everything, then the annual premium commitment would be a little higher. I don't go into it because I would talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. That's it. That's all we ask for. That's all we want. And here's everything you get. You receive training, coaching, virtual office, video marketing, content-rich library, all the sales processes you can imagine, all the sales concepts, everything you can think of, whatever is out there. You, wanna, you want to go after um, 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 see. Uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, CPAs, you want to do a certain type of market, we help you with business verticals. Got all the sales concepts everybody else does, okay? Whatever it is you're looking for, 
uh, we've got uh, um, uh, unique uh, people in the field who can help, okay? Now, our mentorship team, on top of all of that, uh, the executive team that I have, and I'm included in that, we have over 200 plus years experience. Combined, we've sold over $150 million in annual life insurance premium. Combined. Combined, we've sold over $350 million in annuity premium. So we've been around. We know what we're doing. These are field-tested, experienced people. These are not home office type people. These are people who've been in a field, successfully been in a field, and literally have sold tens of millions of dollars in premium over their careers, okay? So, um, uh, and, and even more in the annuities. So we have strong backup for you, all right? Now, the question I have for you is pretty simple. Do you truly really want to grow your business, okay? And do you believe you can make a difference with people every single day? Really, that's what we do. We're here to make a difference with people every single day. That's all we should be looking at. Now, you gotta make a small investment in yourself if you truly wanna grow your business. And that's important that you invest in yourself because you should be coming as good as you can get because the more information and the more ability and the more awareness you have that you can share with others, the more compensation you're gonna create for yourself. You should never stop learning. We're gonna help you create multiple streams of revenue. One of our one of our white papers is the three golden rules of financial independence. Part of that talks about the three types of income that people need to have. That includes you. We're gonna help you develop your mind. We're gonna help you become very, very knowledgeable in numerous areas so that when you sit with clients or you sit with groups or you deal with other agents, you're going to be able to help people expand their, their circumstances and help people create the needs, you know, create the needs that, that seem to be in front of them. So they become aware of them. And we want you to recognize your greatest asset. What is that? What is your greatest asset? It's you. You are your greatest asset. Your mind, that three pounds of matter between your, your, between your ears, that three pounds of matter, that is the most powerful asset that anyone could ever have. So this is really what it's all about. Now, my number is there, but on this video, on this video, you can um, contact me directly from this video. So uh, everyone who attends, I will forward out a recorded version of what we do. Now we do this live every single uh, Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, Monday we do it 10 a.m. in the morning. Uh, and I take that back, we do it 11 a.m. Eastern. On Tuesdays, on Thursdays here, we do it 4 p.m. And on Fridays, we do it at 2 p.m. So we try to cover uh, all the time zones. We try to cover everything. But here is the, um, here's the real issue for everybody. Look, we live in the richest nation in the world at the same time uh, we have the highest rate of financial illiteracy in the world. If you truly want to separate yourself from all the white noise and everything that's out there, you don't need the next new gimmick, the next new you know, fancy magic silver bullet. That's not what you need. What you need is a message that separates you from the masses. You need a message that is clear, concise, that people want to hear. That message is financial literacy education combined with the fact that we help people become financially independent. That's the message. That's all that you need. You don't need anything else fancier. You know, I'm an advocate and as an advocate, your best interest is my only concern. So I serve as a financial concierge for all my clients. And in that focus, we just look to take people to financial independence. Are you interested? Are you where you want to be right now? Only 5% of our nation, you know, were you aware? Only 5% of our nation ever attains financial independence. It looks different for everybody. So that's why I need to spend some time with you to help see where you're at, where you want to go and how you want to get there. That's the message, folks. Five, 10, 15 times a day, you tell that message, you speak with three, four, five people a day, and you have a magnificent career. Unbelievable. You just pay it forward. The more people you help become financially independent, the more financially independent you become. And as my client, because that's who you are, you're an agent, my clients are agents. 
You are my client. Your best interest is my only concern, and I'm looking to help you become financially independent. How? By sharing awareness, providing financial literacy education, and helping others become financially independent. That's it. That's the whole game. Okay? So thanks once again for your time. I look forward to speaking to you uh, soon. And um, certainly, let's get, on to, let's get on the bandwagon today. You know, at least call me to determine how this fits for you. What pieces you'd like, what pieces you don't want. Do you want it all? How do we get started? What do we do? Call me. Let's get started. Okay? Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day.